What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman of The Time Teller. Welcome to the Monday episode. I hope you guys have an awesome beginning of the week. Now guys, I've been very blessed to film like over 400 episodes on the Time Teller channel. I'm actually not sure the actual number. Um, Gato, put up the number of episodes here. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around for all these episodes. Most of them, complete garbage. <laughs> this is why I drink, okay? Water from a 64 ounce hydro flask that you can find at the Amazon store below. <laughs> mm. You know, some people literally wrote to me upset because of a bit I did in a prior episode uh, where I literally made fun of product placements. So guess what? Here's some more product placements. Hydro Flask, Gorilla Pod, MacBook, Warby Parker. War Warby Parker actually doesn't sponsor me yet, so don't buy them yet. But once they sponsor me and I get a coupon code and they're sending me checks based upon how many of you guys use the coupon code, then, then you buy the Warby Parkers. But all jokes aside, okay, within those 400 episodes, there's a watch that I mention all the time, very consistently, right? And it's a watch to which I compare almost every other watch I review. It's almost like my wristwatch standard. And although this is my wristwatch standard, I recently noticed I have yet to film an episode specifically on that watch. Why haven't I reviewed that yet? So without further ado, I think it's time to review the Rolex Date 1500. How how did I overlook this one? I don't, I don't know. It's 1.22 p.m. Let's get down to business. So this watch has got a 34 millimeter oyster case and it uses the 1560 automatic movement with the Breguet free sprung hairspring and 26 jewels. Now I mentioned that oyster case and of course it has the threaded crown and at least 100 meter water resistance rating and of course this being the date 1500 it has that beautiful date complication with a magnifier. Yes you either love or you hate that. So why is this little Rolex the standard for me, at least when it comes to everyday wristwatches? Well, first up, the size, right? 34 millimeters on an Oyster case. I've harped on this many times before. Rolex has a way of making their Oyster cases wear much larger than they list on paper. So I'm a bigger dude. I have seven and a half inch wrists, but still this little 34 millimeter Oyster case takes up a good amount of real estate and it looks very nice in my opinion. Of course, I'm biased. I look at myself every day on a camera monitor and uh, sometimes I just, I can't even get the lines out because, oh man. If you couldn't understand, I'm full of myself. Is what that, That's what the bit was, is I was, So not only does it look nice, 34 millimeters, it's very, very wearable, right? It's not too in your face, kind of subdued and uh, elegant. Bottom line, it's easy to wear and it's super duper versatile, okay? Right now I have it on its oyster bracelet. Uh, just looks like a stainless steel, a little bit sporty maybe, but you throw this bad boy on a leather strap and it becomes a dress watch. And guys, adding to that versatile aesthetic, this watch is tough, okay? It's very, very robust. Don't let that 34 millimeter sizing fool you this thing is a pretty resilient watch. Okay, again, oyster case, threaded crown, at least a 100 meter water resistance rating. This thing is from the 1960s and it's still going very, very strong. Now, can you get a two-tone version? Yes. Can you find these in solid yellow gold? Absolutely. Beautiful watches. I like that this is stainless steel, makes it easy to wear. Again, makes it more versatile. Uh, you can bump it up against something. I don't know, man, this thing is, much, much older than me and uh, has a few superficial scratches, but no, no big dings at all. And uh, yeah, again, running perfectly, very, very impressive. Another thing I absolutely love about the Rolex Date 1500 is that it has a date complication, okay? I've said it a million times before. I think that one of the most useful complications ever is a simple date window, okay? You're gonna use it all the time. I rarely forget which day it is, 
but I often forget what the date is. So date window, boom, this has it. And again, I love that magnifier. Very, very Rolex and it makes it super easy to read. But guys, far and away my favorite part about my Rolex date 1500 is that it's simple, super simple. This is proof that simplicity does not mean a lack of detail, okay? Everything is sharp, everything is very deliberate. You look at the applied indexes, you look at the Rolex logo raised off of the dial, just so sleek, so smooth, very, very Rolex, very elegant, and again, deliberate. The one thing that comes to mind when you put this watch on is that although it's 34 millimeters, it's solid. So listen, I'm gonna be honest. Is this the most expensive Rolex ever? No. Is this the rarest Rolex reference number there is? Absolutely not. But when I look at my own overall checklist when it comes to the perfect everyday watch, this Rolex Date 1500 checks all the boxes. So guys, if you couldn't tell, I'm absolutely in love with this watch. Of course, there is some sentimental value here. This is the first Rolex I ever added to my collection. And I'm actually thinking of adding some Rolex dates to the Time Teller shop. Let me hear what you think. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing some of them at the store? Would you pick them up? Let me know. And guys, leave me a comment. What's your favorite Rolex reference number? And uh, what's kind of your overall perfect everyday watch? Leave me that comment I'd love to hear from you so there you have it guys finally a review on the watch that I reference all the time on this channel the Rolex date 1500 my perfect everyday watch so guys if you enjoyed this episode if it helped you out at all if you learned something new then click the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell icon okay we upload Monday Wednesday Friday with a live stream Q&A every single Saturday and uh, that bell icon if YouTube does its job will notify you so you don't miss out on anything going on here at the Time Teller channel and if you want to go above and beyond uh, I know I made some jokes earlier you can support the channel by shopping at the Amazon store link in the description below we got some modern watches some watch straps watch toolkits watch winders pretty much everything I use personally is curated there at the time teller Amazon store and then www.thetimetellershop.com um, www.thetimetellershop.com got to make sure I said it properly um, that's my personal store uh, every watch there is handpicked by me I add new things weekly uh, vintage luxury watches for an honest affordable price one-year warranty fully serviced by professional watchmakers and again I see all the these watches like in person I pick them out and they all have t3 seal of approval uh, yes I referred to myself as t3 that's not cringy at all but seriously everything there t3 certified so if you're looking to start your own vintage watch collection or maybe you kind of want to get your feet wet getting your first vintage watch check out my website www.thetimetellershop.com so guys please like comment subscribe show this with other watch enthusiasts other people that you think would enjoy this i'm jory goodman the time teller and always remember i didn't invent time i just tell it real quick if you enjoyed this episode then do not worry the fun doesn't need to stop here check out these recommended episodes that are going to be popping up on the screen anytime now also take a moment check out my brand new channel the time away channel it's where i talk about everything outside of the watch world some of my other collections some of my other hobbies and if you're not interested in any of that don't worry just stay right here and i will see you right here because i i never leave i am trapped inside of this camera that was not as smooth as it could have been, but um, still gonna dab.